today we're going to take a look at the top five budget RCs of 2021 on Amazon and that's coming up next year on Jesse B Motors. Don't forget, if you like what you see today, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That does help the channel out, so don't forget to do all that. At number five, we've got the longest one with a name on it. It's the Soy RC GP Toys Judge Extreme, and this is a one-tenth scale. Now, I've done videos on this, and you guys have seen it. I think it's a little bit smaller than a one-tenth scale, but it is a one-tenth scale. And this one is the highest price one on the list. As you can see right here, it's $139.98 US, but if you click that coupon code right now, you can get an extra $10 off. That ain't a bad deal. So let's go ahead and let's scroll down and check out some of the things that we like about this truck and the reason why I like it. One thing I like about it, it comes with two batteries, and if you run both of those batteries with a connector, you get 30 plus minutes of runtime. That's a lot of bashing to do in 30 minutes. Another thing is, and I'll put a link up above where I waterproof test this, this is waterproof. You don't want to submerge it, but it is waterproof and you can drive it through mud puddles and stuff like that. And like I said, click that link above and you'll see the video where I did that. Next, we got four wheel drive all train action. That is one thing that is fun with this. It is all wheel drive. And the great thing about the all wheel drive is on it, it comes with metal axles and metal drive cups. So they're not as likely as likely to break. So here's everything it comes with. It comes with this connector, so you can run both of these batteries at once and you'll have to strap that in with a strap that comes with it. Or you can just run a single battery and have half the runtime. But the nice thing they're doing on the newer ones is they're giving you two chargers. So as long as you got uh, two USB plug-ins or places to put these, you can charge the batteries at the same time. That's a real nice touch on it. And it does come with uh, the twin motors that are 390 motors in it. It does come with aluminum differentials in it. It's got LED lights front and rear and that's real nice. Mostly if you like driving at dusk or at night with them, that's a real nice touch on it. And it is completely ready to run. Now for number four on the list is an offering from High Boxing. If you guys follow my channel, you know I like High Boxing products. I've probably had about four of their vehicles and I'm looking to get more of them in to mess with. One thing I really like about the High Boxings and my experience is they're durable, they're waterproof. Once again, you don't want to submerge them, but you can run through puddles and stuff with them absolutely fine. There's upgraded parts on them. And let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of things on here that I do like about them. And this one is the new version. I have the old version, which is the Hailstorm. But this and the Hailstorm are basically the same underpinnings. One just is a truggy and one's a monster truck. The monster truck looks great. So another thing that I really like about this is you got a small controller it's not your conventional controller but that makes it perfect for if you're traveling and you want uh, something that don't take up a lot of space in your bag that's where this controller comes in it also has a uh, low speed and a high speed on it which is really nice mostly if you got kids and then the one thing that it comes with it comes with these body clips that have the little extended rubber on it that's real nice to get the clips off that's a nice touch um the other company is axial that does that and i really like this now this one already comes with the metal shafts on it so you don't have to upgrade them and they got the good knob tires on it and then as you can see this is everything it comes with it comes with two lipo batteries now the old version that i have did not have that and then it also comes with a usb charger to charge those lipo batteries as always with these i recommend getting a hobby grade charger to charge your batteries but at least that's everything that's to get you up and going to play with it now this one also comes with just led headlights in the front and another great thing I like about it is it comes with a 380 motor. And the little 380 motor actually moves these pretty good on it. You'll be surprised how fast this little truck is. Number three on my list is another offering from High Boxing. And this is the 112 scale, 2995. This is the Desert Buggy. This is the newer updated version of the High Boxing Protector, which I'll leave a link up below if you want to check the protector out. I had a lot of fun with that protector. This is one of the high boxings that I want to get my hands on, but from all the reviews and everything I've seen on it, and just my experience with high boxing, this looks like it is another great offering from them. And a couple of things that I really like about this one is this updated version. It comes with metal shafts. It's got metal diff gears in it. That is a real nice touch on it. Here's the axles that they show on it. It says shocks or regulators. Now, these are still pogo sticks, basically, 
but you can adjust them. It'd be nice if they have oil filled, but they do have those as an aftermarket thing. You can buy the put on these. And everything it comes with here, and now this is a real nice thing too. It also comes with two LiPo batteries. All the new high boxings come with LiPo batteries, and that's a real nice touch. Comes with your USB charger, your four way, and then once again, this one also comes with the body pins that have the little rubber tab on it that make them a lot easier to pull out. Now, once again, the electronics are splash proof on this, they're not waterproof, don't submerge it, but you can run through puddles and everything. Have absolutely no problems with that. I ran my protector through mud puddles and stuff, and I had no problems with electronics at all on it. Now, the one great thing I like about this one that they updated is the old one had like a 380, 390 motor. They upped the motor on this one to a 490 motor, so that gives you more power, more top end speed. That's going to make this thing a lot of fun. Now, number two on my list this is a New Oak RC car 116 scale. What it is is a relabeled high boxing ravage brushless, is what it is. If you look up in the corner of the box, if you buy one of these and you tear the New Oak sticker off of it, it says high boxing right underneath it. But basically, it's a brushless high boxing ravage, and this thing is a blast. Kelby and I, we've uh, bashed this thing. I've launched it off of rock piles, gone through mud, water, and everything with it, ran in the stuff. These high boxings are completely durable, and as you can tell, this list has three of them so far on it. Because I really like high boxing, they're durable, fun, and you can get upgrades for them, which is nice. So let's go ahead and look at some of the features of this one. Of course, like I said, this one comes with the uh, brushless motor in it. That's a real nice touch. It comes with uh, a thousand mAh battery, which you would think a thousand milliamp hour battery is real small, but this is a small vehicle and it's a 2S battery. It gives you plenty of power and plenty of rent time with it. I really like that about it. And then a couple other things we'll go over here that we'll show you. It's got adjustable shock absorbers, and they do say they're oil-filled on there, which most of the other ones, they are not oil-filled on the high boxings. These ones are. It also comes with uh, Metal Gear dog bones. That's a nice touch. Of course, the brushless motor. And then the power on and off is on the side, so that's real easy to get to. That's a real nice touch on it. Here's some of the stickers that you get on it. And then as we can see here, all the different terrains, like I said, I've ran it on a bunch of different terrains with absolutely no problems, and I really enjoy this. But as you can see, the price at the time of this video, this is the second most expensive car on my list. And number one on my list of the budget RC cars under $150 on Amazon is the Hossum 9155. This 112 scale monster truck has a bunch of features in it I really like. If you've watched my videos on it, which I'll leave a link above to one of them, I really enjoy this truck. It's 112 scale, and the biggest thing about it that I really like is it comes with a 550 motor in it. You can see right here. That 550 motor and that 112 scale makes this thing have a bunch of torque and a bunch of power. I really like it. As you can see on the shocks here, the shock absorbers, there's two in the back, one in the front. Now, I don't think these are oil-filled but it does handle pretty good as you've seen in some of my videos. It's got the oversized tires and it only has LED lights in the front, but that's a real nice touch I really like about it. It also comes with a LiPo battery and the USB charger for it. Now, just like all the vehicles on here, this is waterproof, but you don't want to submerse it. And I got videos of this running through snow and stuff. It is completely waterproof. Mine runs just fine on it. Another thing I like about this truck, you can see right here, is you got metal drive shafts and output cups. That means that it will handle the power a lot better than what plastic ones will. And you can see this one, at the time of this video, it's basically $110 bucks US. So that is my top 5 budget RCs under $150 on Amazon. Now let's do a little recap. One thing that I don't like about the Hossum compared to all the other ones, this one comes with a lithium ion battery. All the other vehicles now come with lipo batteries and because they come with lipo batteries they got longer run times and a little bit more punch and that makes them a lot more fun i do have a lipo battery that fits in this and on all my videos that's what i ran in it except for the speed test my speed test video i did a lithium ion a 2s and a 3s battery in it and this thing flew with the 3s battery in it now all five of these cars have proportional steering and throttle on them they are hobby grade and you can buy spare parts for all of them that are on this list. 
Now, on every car on this list, I've either ran or I've ran a variant of it, which was probably the original version of it, where a couple of these are the newer updated ones I haven't got my hands on yet. But I can tell you guys, every single one of these, I've bashed and I've done videos on them. And I've put them to the test, jumped them off of big ramps, purposely tried to land them wrong, ran them into walls. I've done all kinds of stuff to these and all the plastic and everything's held up great. I haven't broke one piece on any of these yet. The only problem I've had is with the Hossum and the GP toys is the wheel nut coming off and that's a simple fix. Go ahead and just put blue Loctite on them and they'll never come off again. And all these vehicles have 2.4 gigahertz radios in them. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my top five under $150 budget RCs on Amazon. Amazon's got some great RCs on there. You'll just have to hop on there and check it out. I'll have links for these all down below. And if you do buy something off those links, it does help the channel out. And I appreciate that because it helps me to get more stuff and do more content with. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. On Facebook, don't forget I got an RC car group on there called RC Car Life. We talk about all kinds of stuff on there. Come in and join on the fun. And then if you join my page on Facebook, a lot of times I'll put deals. When I find the deals on these RCs, I'll post them on my page on Facebook. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you all on the next one.